Hey guys, this is Beth with Midlands Vinyl. So today I'm gonna to be working on a tumbler that is my most requested. This is the Southwestern. I'm going to be using Bougie Bond. If you do not have this, you are missing out big time. Um, this is double-sided adhesive tape and it definitely does allow you to work smarter, not harder. Um, I'm also gonna be using some fine glitters from Go Glitter. I'm gonna be using Razzle Dazzle. I'm sorry, Blue Dazzle, Blue Dazzle. I'm gonna be using Pink Lace. I'm gonna be using Bubby's Blue. And I'm gonna be using Bailey Rose. I have already cut my template. I'm doing a 30 ounce skinny from Maker Flow. Um, the template comes from Ellie's Crafty Coat. I will have everything that I use and everywhere that you can find it linked in the description below. Um, I have already pre-cut my template. Now I use a Cameo 4 Pro. So my settings for that are regular glossy vinyl. I have a blade depth of two and a cutting force of 17 and it cuts beautifully. You can't really see it but it cuts beautifully and it doesn't cut through the back of the paper. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out around the template. And I love these templates because they are always spot on with lining up. Yanelli has some of the best templates I have ever worked with. So I'm just trimming this up. Okay, I'm gonna remove the excess. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out by prepping my tumbler. You'll see this little sticker on the bottom. There's a huge debate on whether this sticker serves a purpose or not. The answer is no, it is strictly cosmetic. If you pop it off, it does not break your seal. It does not damage the cup. It is strictly there for aesthetic purposes. That's it, okay? So it does not affect your cup at all. So I am going to take my 60 grit sand and block, and you might want to cut your volume down if you don't like the sound of, you know, scrubbing. And I'm going to go ahead and sand my cup just like I normally would for any other cup that needs to be prepped. I love these sanded blocks. They're washable and reusable. So then I'm gonna take my mixture of water and one drop of Dawn dish soap, and I'm going to take a coffee filter. Just, you know, you can buy them from the dollar store. You can get them in bulk on Amazon. I'm gonna spray the filter, and then I am going to wipe the cup down. And get all that, ew all that stuff off of it and for those of you who are on TikTok, we do have a TikTok channel it'll be linked in the description below i go live every week and teach and pack orders and do orders on live so you're more than welcome to come join us over there i'm gonna grab And I also have a paintbrush handy, and you'll see why. I'm just gonna grab a PVC arm, just to make sure I can get the fit in there, so it fits. Now we're gonna lay the template. So what I like to do is I like to lay the template down first 
wrap it around the entire cup. And as you can see, maybe, let's see if I can get it, hit it with that light. It lines up beautifully. So from the top to the bottom, and it might get off a little bit and that's okay because I'll, I'll cover it with my second coat. But for the most part, this has lined up perfectly. So what I do, you do not have to do as I do, do whatever way works best for you. I take a piece of transfer tape because these are cut in little individual pieces. So I take a piece of transfer tape. Let me see if this is going to be big enough. Absolutely. And I lay my template down on the transfer tape. Now, the transfer tape is not going to stick. It's just not. It's not going to stick because of the coating on the outside of the template. But having it there gives me a little bit of stability. So I'm going to start by pulling up the corner and making sure not to pull up the sticky piece. I'm going to pull this back. And then I'm gonna cut this edge off. This will be my little pull tab as I work around the cup. So then I'm gonna lay my cup back down and I'm going to line it back up. And once I can kind of eyeball and see that it's gonna line up, I go ahead and smoosh this side down, okay? smooth it all the way out so you're kind of creating like a hinge then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm going to pull the backing off as I smooth it out as I go so here's my little pull tab and I'm just going to smooth it as I go then I'm gonna reach back here under here and I'm gonna pull a little bit more and I'm gonna smooth it out. Pull a little bit more. Smooth it. going to come on this side and I'm going to go ahead and pull up the transfer tape as you see it did not stick and I'm gonna lay this down right in line with the other half and I'm just gonna pull this off and you can save this to reuse again now if you look it is lined up perfectly. See right here? Got a tiny, tiny bit of overhang, but that is not a big deal. Now for me, I like to trim the bottom and the top before I ever get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smush these pieces down. I'm going to take my cup edging tool from Wicked Shimmer. This will also be linked in the description. I am going to go ahead and trim my edges. This is a little bit of extra prep work. You don't have to do this, but I do because I want the top and the bottom to be clean, okay? So I'm gonna find my seam and I'm gonna start there. I'm gonna push it into the blade and I'm just gonna spin it. Applying medium to hard pressure and I'm gonna go all the way around the cup and then I'm gonna stop and then what I should be able to do is just come back and peel all of this off now if there were some places that didn't catch that's okay I'll have a guideline and I can use my exacto knife to um, or I can lay it back down can use your exacto knife to clean it back up but I'm just gonna go ahead and do another pass and then I'm gonna pull 
and I now have a clean edge except for that one little spot right there and we'll just pass it through again that's why I love this cup edging tool Corey is the best So just keep going until you get it clean. You want a clean, sharp line around the edge, and it'll look something like this. Oh, it'll look something like this. So you see how clean that is? It's clean, it's crisp. And then I'm gonna clean my mess up. And then I'm gonna do the exact thing at the bottom, okay? Now sometimes my blade won't reach that high up, and actually that one looks pretty good, so I might not even might not even do that. Because the bottom is really already pretty good. So I'm just gonna pull this center piece right here out. And now we're ready to start the fun part. Now a lot of people that do Southwesterns, they struggle with their color palette. I use Pinterest and I just type in rose gold color palette, blue color palette, or just color palette in general. And you'd be surprised at the combinations that you'll get. Um, also in our Facebook group, Midlands Vinyl SC, we have cheat templates. Um, Caitlin, hey Caitlin. She went through and numbered all of the templates for us so you can take the guesswork out of which color goes where. Now you don't have to do it this exact way. You can do it any way that you want. Um, but this is just to help you keep in line with um, where you want your numbers to be and your colors and which colors are gonna be close to each other and all that stuff. So then I've taken little sticky notes and I've made numbers one through four and I've placed my glitter in front. That way we can just kind of keep up and keep in line, okay? Because it's really hard to write on this because of the coating. Um, so that's an easy way to do it. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get right into the fun part. Okay, so now we have our template, we have our cup wrapped. We're gonna start with the fun part. All right, so my color number one is called Blue Dazzle. This is from Go Glitter. I will have her linked in the description below, and I will also include my discount code so you can save you a little bit of change. She has some really, really beautiful colors. She has fines, mediums, chunkies. For this one, I'm going to be using all fines, okay? So I'm gonna keep my little chart right here in front of me and I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of the number ones. I'm gonna take my little weeding tool and I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna pull this one. Okay. And then I'm gonna come down. So this is a one. And again, you can do the pattern any way you want. To me, these this, this way just looks the best. And then you're gonna go all the way around the cup, pulling all of the ones. So you're gonna kinda go in a circle. So I'm gonna pull this one. So I'm gonna stop there because I know that's my biggest spot. And then I'm going to come back to the front and I'm gonna look up on my, on my cheat sheet and I'm gonna pull this one. I'm gonna pull this one. 
And once you do a couple of these, you'll get the hang of it. And the, the end result is absolutely beautiful. So then I'm gonna go ahead and continue to um, pull around the cup. So this is what we have so far, okay? So we're not quite done yet. So what I like to do, just to make sure, is I like to fold the paper in half. So then I flip it to the back of the cup, which is right here. So this is the back, this is the front, or whichever way you wanna look at it. But this is where your seam is. So I like to sit here and I like to go, okay. So now I need to go right here and start pulling. And by the time I get done, it should meet up with the bottom half of the cup, okay? If I can get this thing off my, there we go. And we're gonna go and do the top side. So there is our color number one. So now what, it, what happens is all of this that is silver that is exposed is sticky, okay? That's what your glitter is gonna adhere to. So I'm gonna go ahead, let me make sure I'm not missing any spots, cause I am, look at there, I'm missing a spot. This is a one, this is a one, this is a one. Okay, then I'm gonna go back up at the top and I'm gonna pull this, this, this. There's a little tiny white piece under there. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that. Okay, so there's our cup, okay? All of that is gonna be color number one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your glitter and you're just gonna pick a spot to start at. Um, what I'm using to catch my glitter is unbleached parchment paper. I will also have that link. Um, I have that in my Amazon storefront. I'll have that link so you can find that as well, okay? So I just start by tapping. I tap over a spot and then I rub the glitter in. That's just to make sure that all the sticky parts get covered. And what happens by doing this, when you go to do your next color, it won't stick to that area. All right, so I'm gonna go up here and do the same thing. And I'm gonna rub this in. Then I'm just gonna do the same thing for a rest, the rest of the cup, where the spots are exposed. So I'm just going around. cups are so gorgeous. It's one of my favorites. I could do these all day. They're so relaxing. I 
All right, so we are almost done with number one. Look around the cup, make sure you didn't miss any spots. Then you're gonna take your dry brush and you're gonna brush all the excess, excess glitter off. So this cup was actually a cup that was won in a giveaway that I did. And I got to pick the colors. So I'm going with pinks and rose golds and blues. So there's the first coat. Now a lot of people don't do second coats. I do, which I'll do off camera. Um, but if you choose to do a second coat, I just go back in with my Mod Podge and do the same exact thing. I fill these in, dump my glitter, except I don't rub it in this time. I just put the Mod Podge down and sprinkle it with glitter and just do my second coat. So there's that. Beautiful. So that color was Blue Dazzle from Go Glitter. color is going to be pink lace. It's like a pinkish rose gold. It's really pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little cheat sheet and I'm going to pull all of the number twos. Get that extra blue off of there. All right, so now I'm going to pull the number twos. This bougie bond is life. L-I-F-E, life. So there's my two. I'm gonna come down here and pull these two. I'm just following the pattern that Caitlin made. Okay. So then I'm gonna look and make sure. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna pull my two from up here. I'm gonna fix that. Fix that. So there's my twos. So now we're just gonna follow right behind number one.
and there you go. So now all of your number twos have been pulled. Just double check your template and make sure. And I'm gonna brush this off, the excess blue off. Okay. So my number two is going to be pink lace. Same thing, we're just gonna go back over the spots that we just pulled. Some of y'all are probably freaking out. The pink is touching the blue. You're about to see what happens. This is why I love Bougie Bond. back around make sure you didn't miss any spots and then you're just gonna take your dry brush and you're gonna brush all the excess excess pink off your glitter is not contaminated with blue because the blue is already stuck I may not even do a second coat on this one because it's it's pretty good. I, don't know, I have to see when I'm done. So there's number two. There's the second part. Okay. So we're gonna dump this back in here. back on so I don't knock it over because I am prone to doing that. Just clean my mat there. Okay, so now we're going to move on to number three. So let me pull out my little template. 
As you can see, you're pretty much going in a circular pattern. So now I'm gonna pull my number three. I always start at the beginning of the cup. I match my template with the beginning of the cup. It's just easier for me to follow along that way, okay? So now we're gonna move to number three. So this is a three. This is a three. This is a three. Go all the way around. There you go. So there's all the threes on the front. Now we're gonna flip it. And we're gonna say, okay, start down here at the bottom. Two, this is a three. gonna finish it off. All the way around. I really need weed and pins that are useful. Okay, and the same thing at the top. So here we pulled this piece and this piece. And then we're just gonna follow it all the way around. there we are so there's the back side there's the there's the front side and then there's the back side so now the color that I'm gonna use is a darker blue and it's called Bubby's blue again all of these glitters are from go glitter and they're all fine so I'm gonna do this one
to the bottom. Okay, so we got everything covered. Now you're gonna go in with your dry brush. And you're just gonna brush all that navy blue off of there. And if you look, there's no transference of color. Okay, that's why I love Bougie Bond. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna dump this blue back into the container and then we'll do our last color, which is gonna be Bailey Rose. It's not this hard to, to weed. It's my uh, weeding pen is not the best. I've had it for years. Had it for years. All right, all done. So now we put on our last color. All right. I'm 
Bailey Rose. It's going to be gorgeous. All right. Brush the mess off. Brush it off. So now we're just going to brush all this off. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal this and then I'm gonna start doing my second coat, which I'll do off camera. I'll do my second coat and go ahead and put a coat of epoxy on it. The next step that we'll do on this is the pinstriping. That's, that's the fun part. So we'll do the pinstriping. I think I'm gonna pinstripe this in gold. Um, I haven't made my mind up yet, but again, these templates are really, really, really super easy to work with. So I'm going to seal this, second coat it, put a coat of epoxy on it, and I will meet you guys back here. Hey guys, so we're back to finish our Southwestern. I am going to pinstripe it in textured silver. This is the Cricut vinyl. Uh, you can get it at, on Amazon, I believe Michaels, Hobby Lobby, even my Walmart carries it. My stripes are 11 inches in length 
and 0.035 in width, or you can use 0.040. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna look at your cup, and you, what I normally like to do is I like to do the long pieces first, going around the cup, but you can do whichever's easiest for you. Sometimes doing the diagonal is easiest, so that's what we're gonna do now. So I'm just going to start by pulling up my pinstripes. And they're very, very thin. Okay, so I'm gonna start up here. I'm gonna leave a little bit of an overhang. And this hammock makes pinstriping a breeze. You can find the hammock on our website midlandsvinyl.com and I believe it is under other goodies. So now my pinstripe won't go all the way down to the bottom but that's okay. We're just going to keep going and then we'll fix the bottom when we get to it. So here's my next piece and I'm just going to find my diagonal line and I'm just going to follow it all the way around. Now right here, I will stop because this is a separate piece. So I'm just gonna cut this at an angle. And then I'm gonna find my next piece, which is right here. This is at an angle. Set this to the side because I can reuse that. To me, this is the most relaxing part. It's the pinstriping. And pinstriping really makes a huge difference in your cup. You can take a plain cup, slap some pinstripes on that bad boy, and have a completely different look. The good thing about pinstriping is it also has, uh, hides any little seam imperfections that you might have. Um, you know, if your glitter didn't quite make it to the edge or if your colors overlapped a little bit, pinstriping is good for hiding those little flaws. Let's take that to the side. I don't throw away my uh, little pieces because those can be used um, in certain areas. So I just go around the cup. So now I'm going to start going this way. And I'm just going to let the pieces overlap. If you'll see right here, this piece is going to overlap. So I'm gonna make like a little a little X and I'm just gonna cut that off and then I'll go back and trim those pieces. one of my most popular cups right now is the Southwestern. And I got my template from Ellie's Crafty Co. Um, I get majority of my templates from her, if not all. Um, her templates are so easy to use. They line up perfectly. So if you're looking for somewhere to get some really good templates, my number one suggestion would be Ellie's Crafty Co. 
thanks Janelle for the wonderful templates. That's why I say save those little pieces because you can use them for the, the smaller spots. I'm gonna come back in here and get my little piece that I had. Perfect. So I'm just looking, so I'm gonna keep going. Follow that seam. I absolutely am in love with the textured vinyl. I think it gives the cup dimension. Okay, so down here where the pieces have not fully connected all the way down to the bottom of the cup, I'm gonna show you a trick. If you'll take your pinstripe and just snip the very end at an angle, if you go at an angle like that, instead of straight across, when you lay it down on top of the other piece, you will not even be able to see where the pieces meet. That's just a nifty little trick. Now when you get done with your pinstripe and you do want to seal it, um, you can use Rust-Oleum 2X, you can use uh, Quick Coat from CCDIY. Um, I, I do not recommend polyacrylic because that can yellow your cup and I would hate to see all your hard work be undone because your cup turned yellow. I just kind of like to hold it up and make sure that the square is even, the little points. And I can 
trim it up. So you're just cutting around the angle. You're following that angle where the points meet. So right here, you're gonna cut on each side. So I'm gonna cut on this side. There's our star, our, our um, square diamond. So I'm just gonna trim up these pieces before I do my horizontal lines. Very tedious, but it's like therapy. And I'll trim up the the edge pieces I cut right along the edge of the stainless steel cup so when I go to epoxy the tips will get a very good seal and you won't have to worry about them pulling up curling up peeling up whatever following the line
Okay, so now I'm just going to spin it around and look to see if there's any spots that I may have missed um, going vertical. So I'm going to trim these up. Sometimes when you do these, your eyes really start to play tricks on you and you miss spots. So just kind of spin it around a couple of times, which is why I love the hammock, because you can just spin until your little heart is content. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing my horizontal lines. This is where the hammock comes in super handy. If you position your cup just right, you can take your pinstripe and you can lay it on the cup and you just turn the cup the hammock does all of the work for you so I'm just holding my pinstripe straight and I'm just spinning the cup And just like magic, it lines up perfectly. So I'm just gonna snip the, a little piece of this off because I don't want all that extra overhang. And I'm just gonna push this down really, really well. So there is our first horizontal stripe. But do you see how easy the hammock made that? Like little to no work on my part. All you have to do is keep your tape straight and just spin the cup. And then we move to the next one in line. There is no rhyme or reason where you start and finish. I just try not to let my seams line up. I stagger the seams if I can. I did see the top of my my um, triangle there is a little over, so I'm just going to trim that up. I'm going to run it right along that line and just pull it out. And continue all the way down. I find it so much easier to cut my own pinstripes out of vinyl than to try to use nail tape. I am nail tape challenged. I cannot use nail tape and it be straight. <laughs> it gets really wonky all over the coat. But I don't have that problem with vinyl. Good old vinyl to the rescue.
So I'm just gonna spin the cup and make sure that I didn't miss any spots because that can happen. Your eyes start to go wonky. Now, I like to put one at the bottom and one at the top. To me, that just finishes the cup off and it makes it look complete. Again, personal preference. You don't have to. It's entirely up to you. Just cleaning up the little overhang hanging pieces that are at the bottom. Got it. Okay, now I'm going to go to the top. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come right against that glitter line. spots are finished. Double check because I have been known to miss some spots. But that is the final product. So as you can see, this is super, 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 super easy. Okay. The good thing about this cup is I use Bougie Bond. And I'm going to link everything that I used in the description below. Um, the hammock, the bougie bond, the glitter, the template. Um, so I hope this video helped take some of the fear out of making a Southwestern. You can do these a hundred different ways with a hundred different colors and no two will look alike. Um, but I, I really, really, really appreciate you watching this tutorial. I know I had a lot of requests for this one. Uh, make sure that you like the video. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel. We are working on putting out more and more content. Um, you know, just so that you can follow along. You can also follow us on TikTok. We are on TikTok, uh, Midlands Vinyl SC. And you can also find us on Facebook, uh, Midlands Vinyl SC. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, the last steps that I will do is I will seal this, I'll seal the pinstripes, and then I will put um, at least two more coats of epoxy on it before it is complete. Um, but that's it. So I will see you guys next time. Bye y'all.